Good evening, Rafael. How are you? Good evening, fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing fine. It's raining where you, where you are. Is uh, raining or it's not? Hello, Yolanda? No, it's not raining. It's not raining? Oh, okay, very good. Over here, no, it's not raining. No, no. Either. Okay. Yeah, over here, it's not raining either. So um, I'm glad. Where you live? I live in Ciudad Delgado, San Salvador. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And where do you live? I live in Nuevo Cuscatlán. Nuevo Cuscatlán. So it's uh, by the Camino Santa Tecla, right? It, right, right. By the by El Platillo, no? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, very good. Like that. You're not too far, huh? You are not too far away. No, no. Yeah, we have some people that are from La Paz, Cabañas, that's a far away. We are near. We are near. There we go. Yes. And uh, <laughs> Yolanda, how are you today? Hi, teacher. Fine. I am fine. You look tired. Are you? I am so tired. Yes. So, tired. so, so yes, you I had a lot of things to do and check uh -huh. a lot of report. Oh my goodness. So we need uh, two Yolandas. Yeah. Or three. No, only one is enough. <laughs> only one is oh enough. <laughs> no, pero necesitamos dos Yolandas o tres Yolandas para que hagan todo el trabajo. No. no? Suficiente una. No. One is enough. Pero, but it's, it's, it's a lot of hard, I don't know, to, to read uh the reports oh okay so oh, okay i see i'm so yes. tired today yeah it's tired <laughs> is that your dog yes but yes one of them uh, oh. aldo oh okay very good okay i have one dog uh, his name is uh, uh percy uh, he's a uh, two percy. years percy how old two years uh, old Okay, and my dogs, uh, all of them are rescued from the street. Oh, that's good. Oh, my goodness. You have a good yes. heart. Congratulations. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And Monica, how are you today? My God, look at that uh, uh, pretty girl. She's so cute. How old is she? Wow. Oh. Maybe uh, we have a bad connection. Denise, how are you today? Reyes, I like, I like your watch. Good evening. I like your watch. Good evening, teacher. Uh, very bad because I'm sick. It's black. <laughs> it, it is black, huh? yes. We don't, uh, a lot of people will still be using watches. And uh, I see a lot of watches in the streets and they look nice though. Very, 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 uh, it, your hand looks very catchy. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. So how was your day today, uh, Raul? How was it? Um, it's fine. Okay. And I I just finished the, the exam. Uh, the, 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 mm -hmm. the final. Uh, the platform. Yeah, final exam yes, on the I platform. Think. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, I was I was looking on the numbers and uh, and it looks like you didn't have time to do the exercise and everything. But uh, thank you for finishing the platform. Good job. All right. Okay. And um, um, Yolanda, today we were talking about the um, the uh, the article, huh? A and N. Yes, it was clear. Yeah. Yes, teacher. It okay. was clear. Okay. Like real. Hello? Are you there? Yeah. Yes. I don't know what happened. There. Okay. Not what happened. All right. So yes, um, well, um, I was uh I was reading what you used uh told me and uh, it looks like uh, you were a little bit confused, right? <laughs> Yes, but uh, the pronunciation of a statement is as statement. No, 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 it's a statement. No, 
It's no. a statement. Yeah. No, no, it's es. It's statement. Statement. Uh, statement. 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 Yes. So if you if you if you say a statement, then yes, <laughs> but it's not the right pronunciation. It's statement. 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 Yes. statement. Uh -huh. So it's a consonant statement. Hmm. It's a is a is a is is a common mistake. Okay. Okay. Hello, Noemi. Jesenia, how are you? Teacher, I'm fine, thank you. Excellent, nice to see you. And Crisia Muñoz, how are you today? Hi, teacher. Hi. I'm good, thank you. All right. How about you? I'm doing fine, thank you. And I'm so happy for you guys that uh, um, we're able to finish uh, this module. All of you guys uh, uh, have been doing a wonderful job, a lot of work. I know that you guys are. Uh, Besides your, you know, the regular job, you have to you know, work on the platform and and be on time uh, every day at eight for, from eight to nine. I know it's 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 tiring, but and I thank you guys for your time and your dedication. Okay, and all of you have been doing a wonderful job. Good participation, um, good uh, um, uh, styles. Um, good pronunciations. Uh, we have improved a lot and we have been learning so, all the way. So congratulations to each of you, okay? And today we, go, we are going to be working on the, uh, if you don't have any questions in regard to um, our learning or something that we have uh, covered, if you would like uh, us to do a little uh, a review on uh, something that you uh, think you might need to uh, reinforce the knowledge, we can go ahead and do it today. Uh, but before that, uh, we were we are going to um, work on the platform and finish the uh, final exam, which is the last thing that we have uh, uh, on the platform, okay? So the first part of it is a listening part. And um, what I did is uh, I downloaded uh, the, uh, the audio audio in case that uh, we are not able to to listen or it's too too low we can try to listen the, to the one that i downloaded uh, from the platform but i'm gonna go ahead and play it um, this one is uh, um it's about uh, two people talking and what we need to do is uh, we need to catch what they say uh, um sometimes uh, it's not uh, it's it's not easy to understand it because uh, North American people or British people, they um, they put two words together. What I've been telling you guys that when the, we talk uh, fluently, with the fluency comes that you, they put two words together, uh, usually are um, a consonant and a vowel together or two uh, consonants like TT, they put them together. And when they speak is a, a almost hard to understand what they're saying that's the reason why we have this type of uh, of uh, exercises uh, uh, audio exercise so i'm gonna play the video and, and i'm gonna I'm, I'm sorry the audio and i'm gonna pause it uh, whenever the, they uh, stop talking so we can decide what answer or which answer is the best um, choice okay so if you don't hear it or, or it's hard for you to listen it um just let me know okay Let's see. Listen to two telephone conversations. Check the correct information. Can you can you hear? Okay. More or less. Yes. Yes. Hi, Laura. It's okay. How are you? Amy and Terry? Great. Uh, what time on Saturday? Well, we want to start around 6 in the evening. No, I start work at 6. I have a part-time job in a restaurant. Oh, that's too bad, Wes. Well, maybe another time. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks for thinking of me. Bye. Bye. Okay, there were two um, subjects that uh, we, were, we were trying to find out about. First is the invitation. 
what was the invitation about and what was the excuse that uh, Terry gave uh, to uh, Katie? What was the invitation? Where the, he was party. invited? Yes, he was uh, invited to a beach party. Yes, and uh, he said something about uh, not uh, able to go. Why? He start work at 6 p.m. Yeah, he starts work at 6 p.m. Okay, very good. Let's, uh, now the other one is uh, Rita. We're gonna listen what Rita has to say. Two. doing Charlie? Fine. Say, would you like to come to a dance performance this weekend? I'd love to, but I'm pretty busy this weekend. I have to study for a test on Monday morning. Hmm. Are you going to study all weekend? Well, no. I'm going to a basketball game on Saturday night with Lucinda, but I really don't have time for the weekend for studying. How about tomorrow evening? The tickets are half price midweek. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Great. We can meet outside the Odeon Theater at about 7.45. Excellent. See you there. Bye. Bye. Very good. Excellent. So what the reader says uh, to the invitation, what was the, uh, she was invited to? Where was she invited to? <laughs> Dance, dance performance. performance. Yeah, dance performance. Yes, the dance performance. And uh, what happened? She doesn't like sports, or she isn't feeling well, or she needs to study for a test. She needs, she needs to study for a test. She needs to study for a test. Yes, very good. Yeah, she needs to study for a test. Remember that uh, is a, a third person singular, so the is have to be there. She needs to study for a test. Okay, very good. Good job. Okay, let's go to the um, um, to make the sentence. The instructions are to complete the conversations. So we are going to complete the conversation based on the information given. In this case, we have uh, what do you, and then we have planned and do. What do we need to do? It says um, the instructions are to read each one carefully so you get an idea of the form of the verb you need to use. Okay, so let's see. Yolanda, can you do number one for me, please? Uh, yes, what do you... Uh, plan to do tonight what do you plan to do tonight what do you what do you plan to, to do plan tonight to do tonight tonight oh so but it's what do you plan to do right what do you plan to do mm -hmm. okay does everybody agree with the the answer yes yes okay very good now rafael can you help me with the B part. I want to stay home. There okay. is a soccer match on TV. I want to stay. Okay, I want to stay home. There's a soccer match on TV. Everybody agrees with the uh, answer that um, Rafael gave me? Yes. yes. Okay, Noemi, can you help me with number two, part A? Please. Okay. What are you and Dave going to do tomorrow? Okay. Go to do. All right. What are you and Dave going to do tomorrow? Is that the correct answer? Everybody? Anybody? What are you and Dave going to do? to do yes yes it's agree okay yes. and, um, and what is this what is this this is a, a, a 
Present continuous uh, with the future plan, right? Future plan. Future plan with the future present plan. With present continuous, correct? Very good. Good job. Um, okay, now let's see who can help me with this one. I have uh, Mauricio Morales. Part B, please. No me escucho Mauricio, ¿verdad? Creo que tienes el micrófono apagado, Mauricio. I think you have your mic off. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, I have the microphone off. Okay. Right. Um, is uh, the rain okay? Um, we would like to have a barbecue on the beach, but it may be rain. Okay. We would like to have a barbecue on the beach, but uh, it may rain. Okay, very good. Uh, is uh, Are we correct uh, on this answer, Mr. Rodriguez? Is that the correct answer? Would you like to have... It's okay. I think you're okay. Okay, we would like to have a barbecue on the beach. Um, what is the the word but doing there? What is the word but doing in here? Um. So, <coughs> so, indica que puede pasar lo opuesto. Exactly. It's contradicting. Yes. Remember, we were talking about uh, and, that and is an uh, addition to some, something, and but is the contradiction of something that you have said. In this case, uh, we would like to have a barbecue on the beach. Yes. Eso es lo que quisiera. But it may rain. But uh, lo, lo opuesto a que se puede hacer la barbecue es que no, porque puede, puede llover. Yeah, very good. Um, um, can you, Raul, help me with uh, 3A, please? Yes. What do you hope to do after graduation? Yeah, what do you hope to do after graduation? Okay. Everybody agrees with this answer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, <coughs> let's see if I can have um, um, Karina Jimenez to help me with the B, please. Mm -hmm. To travel and look for a wife. Love. I'm sorry, I, I could would love. Oh, I would love. Yes, I mm -hmm. would love, love to travel. To travel. Okay. I would love to travel in Europe for a while. Europe for a while. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay, let's see. Okay. All right. All right, let's go to uh, part uh, C. And see, we, we are going to circle the correct uh, word. Um, okay, we have uh, this, um, we have uh, places, uh, places. Uh, remember that we were talking about places, uh, desert, uh, waterfall, waterfalls. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. Islands. So in this case, we're gonna be what the con contest is the concept of the uh, sentence. There are lots of beautiful trees in this. Then we're gonna select uh, one of this one. Um, and I'm gonna ask uh, Vanessa de los Vanessa to help me de Los Angeles uh, to help me on number one. Okay, teacher. Yes. Um, number one, there are lots of beautiful trees in this forest. Forest, yes, forest. Uh, forest is where we have a lot of trees. Do we have any forests, uh, forests uh, in El Salvador? Yes. Monte Cristo. I'm sorry, Monte Cristo? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think so. Or, is where is that located uh, at? Metapan, I think so. Oh, what Japan? Metapan. Oh, oh Metapan. <laughs> okay. Is that a nice? The other is in the forest salad forest. Salad forest. Where at? Uh -huh. Where at? A donde? Um, Bosque salado, but I don't know where is that. Okay. Sonsonate. Sonsonate. Okay. Sonsonate or, or, or Manglares. Manglares. So, but we have uh, some. I don't, place. I don't know where. Maybe, yes. Uh -huh. Manglares. Oh, okay. Manglares. Okay. Very good. So let's go to number two. Um, Marina Sanabria, number two. Okay. A uh, desert is a very hot and dry place. Okay, desert is a very, very, remember, very hot and dry place. Um, yes, and what is the other word that uh, it, it sounds close to desert? That we eat after, after the main dish. Dessert. Dessert. Yes, dessert and desert. Yes, remember I was explaining to you guys that uh, the difference between one is the double s, and uh, you have to pro, uh, you have to extend the sound of the s so you can make the difference. Mm -hmm. uh, dessert and desert. The other one is desert, right there. This one is dessert. Very good, excellent. Okay, Florence Magaña, number three, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, a mountain. Can you read? It's always. Uh -huh. Number three. Number three, yes, please. Um, a mountain, it's always <laughs> higher than a valley. Yes, a mountain, a mountain is always higher than a valley, yes. Then, then will be T H E N. This one is than, than a valley. Can you try it again? Than a valley. Yeah, can you try it again, please? A mountain. A mountain. A mountain. A mountain, yes. A mountain mm -hmm. is always higher than a valley. <laughs> Than, acuérdate, then is T H E N. And than is than. T H A N. Yes. So it will read. Than a valley. A mountain is always higher than a valley. Okay. A mountain is always higher than a valley. Than, than, than a valley. Okay, okay, good job. Okay, Andrea Sosa, uh, choose the correct word or phrase. You do part two, two numeral one, please. Okay, it's not there. Karina. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, please. 
me to tell Mary there's a school party on Sunday? Okay, is that the correct answer? Please to tell. Everybody, anybody, is that the it's correct, correct answer? It's not correct. Why? No, please tell. That's please right. tell Mary. Only tell. Mm -hmm. Tell. Please tell Mary. There's okay. a school party on Saturday. Yes, please tell Mary. Not to tell, right? Please tell Mary there's a school party on uh, Sunday. Yes, because um, to tell will be like if we don't have a subject is is a, um, a verb uh, in, that we use when it's not conjugated. So in this case, since the ver verb is conjugated, we use a tell. Please tell Mary, there is school party on Sunday. Very good, thank you. <coughs> now, Karina Marisol, number two, please. Will you ask Bill to bring the concert tickets tonight? Yes, would you ask Bill? Yes, to bring. How come over here we don't say bring? We have to say to bring. Anybody? Because it's a request. Hmm? Bring. Because it's a request. No, uh, you, you no. need to use the verb in infinitive form because you uh, you have asked. Yes, <laughs> yes, Yolanda, yeah, you're right. And yes, in this case, uh, the main verb of the sentence is ask. 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 So ask. this is the conjugated verb. Uh, would you ask Bill? then this one is have to be in the infinitive because it's, it's not the main verb in this case. So would you ask Bill to bring the concert tickets tonight? Very good. Excellent. Good job, Yolanda. Number three. Um, let's see. We have... Um, we have uh, let's see. Uh, Walter Vasquez, can you please help me with number three, please? Hi. Could, Hi. could you tell Dana that the movie star of a a, a quarter or a fifteen? Okay, a fifteen, not fifty-five. A fifteen. A fifteen. Fifteen. Yes. Okay. Um, did you say could you tell or could you ask? Could you tell? Um, how come I, I didn't use uh, could you ask? Why not? Anybody? <clears throat> Rafael? Rodrigo? Because it's a message. What? It's a message? No. Uh. Yes. Could you it's not a request, so just okay. Okay, it's a, sta it's a statement. It's a statement. Yes. It is a statement. <laughs> statement. <laughs> so I state, I state. Remember that both both are messages. It's a request and a statement. Both of them are messages. A request is the difference. So it is a. It's not a request. You could say uh, <laughs> You could say uh, Oh, teacher, because it's not a request. Okay, very good, yes. So could you tell the Dana that the movie starts at uh, 8.15? Very good, excellent. And um, let's see. This one says a uh, mountain is higher. Okay, now let's see, just a second. Okay. How are we doing? Are we doing okay? Yes. Okay, now let's uh, continue completing sentences. Now, in this case, we're going to use the will, would, will, I'd, or ill. So we're going to complete the conversation with either would, will, I'd, 
or ill. Remember, I as I would, ill as I will. Okay, so number one, so can you help me, Mr. Rodriguez? What would you like? Uh, what would you like to eat? What the fried chicken, please? Would Would you like? Right? Would you would like? Yes. Would you like to eat the fried chicken, please? Yes. Everybody agree? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Rafael. Yes. Number two. Can you help me with number two, please? Okay. What kind of tomatoes, pot potato would you like? I'll have the mashed potatoes. Okay, very good. I'll have, uh, I'll have the mashed potato. Okay, very good. Everybody agrees with this one? Yeah. Yes. Very good. Um, Mauricio, can you help me with number three, please? Okay. <clears throat> Anything to drink? Yes. Yes, please. I would like some water. I would. I, I would like some water. Uh -huh. I would. Uh, I, I would like some water. Okay. Very good. Everybody agreed? Yes. In this part, the platform, the platform accepts ice. Okay. So the yeah, it doesn't accept <laughs> it, it, doesn't, it doesn't accept uh, the uh, um, the long form. It's accept uh, the sh contracted form. Okay, not a problem. Yeah. But yes, it is. Uh, I would like. I would please. I'd like. Yes. Anything else? Um, number uh, four, uh, Raul Reyes, please. Sorry. Uh, anything else? No. That would be all. That would. Be all. Be all. Okay. Everybody agree on this one? Yes. 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 Anything else? No, that uh, would be all or will be all? Would be all. Will be all. Would. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, number number part two, complete each sentence with the correct form of the adjective. Choose between comparative and superlative. Remember the Kahoot? Superlative and comparative. Um, this is easier than the Kahoot. So we're gonna do well on this one. Which, um, let's see. Um, Yolanda, help me with this one, mm -hmm. well, number one, and Monica with number two, and Mauricio with number three, please. Which, which city is more crowded, <laughs> Buenos Aires or Lima? More crowded. <clears throat> crowded. Crowded. Yes, more crowded. You see? Yes. You see, I learned the lesson. <laughs> <laughs> crowded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds very good. I was going to tell you that. Oh my goodness, uh, Yolanda. It sounds very good, pretty good. More crowded. And um, uh, why do we need to put uh, the word more in there, uh, Rigo Rodriguez? Please, what is. Yes, what why say? do we need to put the word more? in there when when we are making the comparative uh, crowded crowded don't have a comparative word uh, 
I can to say crowded. Mm -hmm. uh, in English, don't uh, aren't no don't have a perdón. Uh, o sea, no hay una palabra para, para, para hacer comparativo crowd. Use more because the adjective has two syllables. Very good. Very good. Very It's good. More than two, more than two uh, syllables. Syllables. More than that. More than, more than two syllables. Very good. <clears throat> that is the, uh, the answer, yes. Okay. Very good. Um, number two. Disney were the most famous amongst the Muslim. ¿Cómo se lee? Amusement. Se pronounce? Amusement. 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 Yes. Uh -huh. Is Disney World the most famous amusement park in the world? Okay, the Igual. most, right? The most famous. Famous, yes. Famous. Yes, dijo igual. Alguien. The most famous. Mm -hmm. no, pero una, una señorita dijo algo y que iba a hacer un comentario. Igual que dijo y parece que la interrumpí, lo siento. The most famous amusement park <coughs> in the world. Yes. In this case, it's the same thing, right? We put the most, the most, because um, it's famous. Yeah, it's more than two syllables. Very good. Um, number three. What is the longest river in the world? Mm -hmm. The Amazon, the mm -hmm. Nuv, or, or Nil? Nile? Nile. Nile. Or Nile, uh, yes. Nile, the longest. Nile, uh, the longest, uh, yes. What is the longest uh, river in the world? The Amazon, uh, Danube, or Nile? Yes. Nile. Yes, okay, the longest, yes. So in this case, it, it is a comparative or a superlative? Superlative. Superlative, yes, because we're talking yes. about the, all the rivers uh, around the world, right? all the rivers and they gave us three options very good okay so are we okay on this one let's see we're fine okay let's go to complete the request look at each message complete the request place in the name Uh, placing the name, uh, this is in parentheses, in its uh, correct position. Remember, capital letters, questions, marks, and periods when necessary. Capital letters, when it's, uh, you're going to start the, uh, the sentence, make sure that you capitalize. All right, so let's uh, do number one, uh, Mr. Vasquez and uh, Mrs. Munoz. Number two. Okay, Number one. Is... one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Please tell Cam right. the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Yes, please tell Cam Ken. Ken that the that test. That on Thursday is, uh, yes. sorry, is 1 p.m., uh, right? Yeah. Okay. P.m. All right, very good, yes. Uh, and this is a statement or it's a request? It's a statement. It's a statement. 
So it says, please tell Ken. So it's going to be, please tell Ken that the rest, that the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Very good. Uh, next, please. Meet me after class today. Would you ask to Alice? Alguien que le ayude? Okay. Alguien que le ayude? Anybody? Meet me after class today. Would you ask? uh alex to meet me after class today yes alex would you ask alex to meet me after class today and question, question mark, mark. Mm -hmm. question mark yes okay so this is a statement or a request it's a request a request because it says ask, right? Okay, next. Marcus, there is a volleyball games tonight. Okay. What is the answer? Do you Sorry? tell? Yes, uh huh. Do you tell Marcus? Um, yes, there's a volleyball game tonight. And then you say, could you tell, and you tell me the whole the sentence. Right. Could you tell Marcos? Yes. There there's a volleyball game tonight. <coughs> there is a volleyball. Tonight. Okay. That's it. Question mark. Question mark. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next. And oh. Marcus. You yeah. have to put Marcus. Right there. It's Marcus at the beginning. Right? Yes, but Marcus. you wrote Marcus. Oh Marcus. Uh, yes, Marcus. Yes, Marcus. Yeah, Marcus. I wrote Marcos, right? Yes. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, Florence Magani. Number four, please. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm, thank you. Come to the picnic on Saturday. Please ask Paula to come to the picnic on Saturday, period. We come to the picnic. Yes. Could please ask uh, Paula, Paula, to come to the picnic. Picnic on Saturday. Very good. Excellent. Okay, let's submit. Okay, we have well, two rounds. Let's see why. Ken, this will be Ken. The test, the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Please tell Ken that the test on Thursday, on Thursday is at 1 p.m. The platform doesn't accept that. the word that. That remember that we said that um, it's an optional. Maybe the platform doesn't like that. Marcus, that okay. That this, could you tell Marcus there is a volleyball game? Okay, let's see. There's there is right, right. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Ken at uh, please tell Ken. The test is okay. I think the I think Ken the test on Thursday. Thursday. The test. Uh, at the end of the sentence, teacher. Uh -huh. Uh, you uh, is missing the a period. period. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very peak, yeah. Let's see. Okay. So this one. And Marcus. Marcus. Let's see. Marcus. You have there. to put There's. apostrophe. There's. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. There's. there's. Like there's. There's, yes. Contracted. There is mm -hmm. a valuable, let's check if the rest is okay. The a valuable game tonight. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. I really want um, a game that you explain me how make the the answer. The answer? Detail and I uh -huh. But the explanation, the difference. The, yes. Uh -huh. because, because, yeah, I need that. Yes. Yesterday, I was trying to do this, and yeah, I need a more, more explanation. Okay. About this topic. Uh, uh, For me. Tell and ask. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, finish uh, this one and then we're gonna help you with that. Okay, not a problem. Okay, in this one we need to read uh, the article. This is a uh, regard to Hawaiian Islands, the big island. Okay, I will have uh, Mr. Rodriguez to <clears throat> read the first uh, paragraph. Raul Reyes Hackford, the second paragraph, Walter Vasquez, the third paragraph, eh, Karina Jimenez, the fourth paragraph. And um, let's see who else can help me. And uh, Vanessa Los Angeles Calito, uh, the fifth paragraph, please. Go ahead. The Big Island. Everyone knows that Hawaii is a beautiful group of islands in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. But did you know that Hawaii is put the name of the state in the state and the name of uh, the biggest island in the state? Yes, it is confusing. So. So most people call the Iceland to Hawaii, the big Iceland. Okay. The weather, the weather, the weather, on, the, the weather okay. on the big Iceland is very interesting. It has 10 of the 15 kinds of climate in the world, including tropical and even gets snow on top of its two biggest volcanoes. Next, please. Hello. Hello. Next. Who's the next? Uh, on the west side of the island, the weather in sunny Kailu Kona is almost perfect. It's about 80, 85 Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit in the summer. If only it goes down to 64 Fahrenheit in the winter and 69 Fahrenheit in the summer. 
the koala are in the north is the is the dry part of the island with only about in meters of right Okay. On the Hilo gets around 140 inch of rain per year. It's the wettest city in the United States. All that rain makes for Okay. Water temperatures are coldest in February and warmest in September and October. There is good snorkeling, great scuba diving, and wonderful fishing year round. That makes the big island popular with people from all over the world any time of the year. Any time of the year, yes, very good. Okay, just to clarify the, the word uh, island, even though there is an S in the word, the S is mute. So you say island, island, okay? So the big island, uh, um, don't say the big Iceland. It will be the big island, island, yes, very good. Excellent, good readings, uh, good readers and good reading. Very good. Okay, we are going to try to answer these questions in regard to what is Hawaii. Uh, it's Hawaii a city, a state, an island, a state, an island. What would be the answer, uh, Mauricio? I say, say okay. Go ahead, Yolanda, I'm sorry. Uh, a state, an island. State and like island. An island. Yeah, it's it's, a, it's in the state, right? Uh, and and the state is belong to. Pertenece a United States. Uh, how was United, United States? Yes. So it's a state and an island. Very good. And um, okay, Noemi, number two. I think you have uh, your mic off. I'm sorry. That's okay. I got off because the noise is very heavy. <laughs> okay. Okay, number two. What climate is not found in Hawaii? Arctic. Yes, uh -huh. Arctic. Remember, the Arctic is, is freezing, right? And Hawaii is not freezing. So what, uh, and this one is a uh, climate. 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 Climate, yes. What climate is not found in Hawaii? Yeah. So it's the uh, Arctic. Arctic, yes. Very good. Excellent. And Mauricio, number three. Uh, how hot does it get in Kailua, Kona, in the winter? Yes. Uh, 80s. The 80s? Yes. Okay, and what was the lowest? 69, something like that, the 64, huh? The lowest, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh, oh, that's 69, right? The lowest 80s in the winter mm -hmm. and 80, 87 in the summer. Mm -hmm. Ah, is 69. 60, 64. Hmm. Winter, 64. Winter 64, yes. Winter 64. Very good. Excellent. Um, let's see. Thank you. I have uh, Karina Jimenez, number four, please. Where does it rain the most? In the east. In the east. In the east. Okay. Um, over here, uh, Karina, when you say when does it 
uh, try to uh, put that's uh, it. Yeah, does it rain? Yes. Uh -huh. So it will sound better. Where does it rain mm -hmm. the most? Can you try it? Where does it rain the most? Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. It sounds uh, way, way better. Where does it rain the most? Yes, in the east. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Excellent. In the north. In the north, huh? When does it rain the most? Let's go and check it. Okay. Where it says the north, Rafael? At the north is the driest. The driest, part. yes. Uh -huh. Just part in yes. of the island. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, so it's a, in the in the east. It's a correction. Yes. All right. Very good. Good observation. Let's see. Okay. So that's the end of the uh, the uh, the test, the reading part. Any questions about um, the um, the test? Any part that you uh, may think that it's not uh, it's it's not clear for you. <clears throat> Everything is okay. I had bad. I had bad in the. Let me see. I have in here. I have too bad in. And uh, E, complete the request. Okay. I think so. Yeah, here. The, the, request. the last two, the number okay. three and four. Marcus, there is a, Marco, there is a volleyball. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Well, the, the, the one we yeah. found out that uh, the computer doesn't like, there is. Yeah, it wants uh, the contracted form, there's. Check uh, if you there's. have, uh, yeah, there's, con there's a volleyball. It doesn't like uh, when we when we put Marcus, there is a volleyball, it didn't like it. So we change it to there's, Marcus, there's a volleyball. So try to there see, is. yes, if you have there is, change it to there's, the contracted form. There's. Okay. There is a volume. Mm -hmm. Okay. It works. In the, in the number four. Number four. I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah. Paula okay. will... Yeah, Paula to come to the. If you put that, it doesn't work as well. So Paula to come to the come. picnic. Yeah, to come to the picnic on Saturday. On Saturday. Yes, the come is with the lowercase, not to the uppercase. picnic. To the picnic on Saturday, period. Uh, on one of them, we also, uh, Yolanda uh, pointed out that uh, we were leaving out the period and uh, the platform is very catchy, it doesn't like. Uh... Ah, okay, yeah. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome, very good. Okay, um, I don't know if you still have a few minutes. Uh, just uh, I'm going to steal five minutes from you guys, but uh, one of your uh, 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 let's see. classmates uh, asked me to go over ask and to tell when to use ask and when to use the to tell. And let's see, is ask. Ask and to tell. What's the difference between what ask and tell? Remember, we say that uh, we uh, use ask and tell. When do we use uh, ask? 
when um, when the message when the message is a request yes when the message is a request we use ask and when the message the message is a statement we use tell so okay so if we have the meeting me is on monday if we have the meeting is on monday you have to ask a question in order for you to be able to uh, figure out which one uh, you should use ask or tell you ask the question is this a request or is a statement so if it is a statement then we're going to use tell if it is a request we're going to use ask so in this case the meeting is on monday so it's, it's just an information that is giving out so we're going to use please Please tell, tell uh, Dagoberto, Dagoberto, um, the meeting is on Monday. Yeah. Please tell Dagoberto the meeting is on Monday. But uh, if you're, uh, for example, you you aren't uh, on the street and you're not home yet, and your wife call and uh, she wants you to buy some milk or buy the, some eggs. Um, so buy milk. So is this a statement or is a request? Request. It's a request. So so if. Uh, if I want to leave a message for Raul, if uh, your wife called and I am the one taking the message, um, she will say, yeah, uh, could you, could you ask, uh, could you ask Raul, Raul, to buy a gallon of milk? And the question mark, remember, could you ask Raul to buy, to buy, not to bait, <laughs> I'm sorry, to buy a gallon of milk? Then you use ask. Why? Because it is a request. It is uh, requesting you to do something. So that's the difference between them. The rest of what we did was uh, examples, just to make sure that uh, we did understood, uh, we did understand what the, uh, the use of ask and tell us. Okay. Okay. I hope, I hope this uh, this helped you, the lady that okay. who asked. Okay. All right. Well, uh, thank you again uh, for being a, such a good student. I hope uh, uh, I have been uh, of uh, help to you guys, and I uh, hope to see you on the next uh, module. Or if, if if I'm not uh, your teacher, well. Uh, I wish you the best, okay? And thank you for everything. Have a good night, and I see you next time. All right? Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.